Perfect. I think we have a quorum. I think we should get started here. Um, all right, Kadir, you want to give us the uh, the Sumo Dev update then? Yeah. So uh, right now, Sumo Dev is um, in Toronto. They ha they are having a work week. That means reduced time for um, uh, for Kitsune, which translates into us ma mainly taking um, items for the new information architecture and redesign into the sprint. Uh, so you will see very little, uh, uh, very few things outside of that. And that's what the team currently is prioritizing and is working on. Okay, great. Um, anything else to add to that? Any questions? What, okay. What's uh, the sprint that they're in right now? So this is the 15th sprint. Uh, actually, I'm sorry that I got yet. Um, let me do that right away. So there you can see all the contents of this current sprint, and you will see that most of them have either IA or redesign as a prefix, and that's the ones that we are focusing on right now. Okay. Uh, and Kadir, did you say you wanted to uh, touch on some of the UX stuff for Brom? Uh, yeah, so basically what's happening right now is we have the final uh, visual style um, and Brahm has started already working on um, uh, implementing those for other parts. So what we, we get five main basic templates from uh, Lee, uh, from, from um, the design team, which we did already get. And um, what we do with them is, what Brahm does with them is, he fits them to the other views that we have. He has three of them done already. I think uh, they are all linked. And uh, he's going to work on the other views for the rest of this week so that we hopefully by the end of, I think next week, we will be done with the visual side. And at the same time, in, in parallel to this, uh, Sumo Dev is already implementing what uh, Brahm is outputting. So that's where, where we are currently. So they look super cool. I'm going to do the what's up with Sumo video today. And I think that's the big thing I'm going to show is uh, those mock-ups so people have an idea what the website looks like or, or will look like. It's going to be. That's cool. I'm t uh, so I've been planning this for probably two weeks, and I just didn't get to it. By, uh, but by tomorrow, I want to release a blog post that basically spans the whole last six months and the next, uh, I think, one and a half months uh, explaining what's been going on on Sumo, like what have, been do what have we been doing with the redesign and what can people expect from this uh, in the future. Um, so that will be a nice uh, blog post complementing the cool. What's Up with Sumo video. Any questions about any of the UX items? If not, we can move on. Okay, moving forward. Uh, looks like we're here at the round table. Um, so I'm not sure who put this first question in here. Can I ask if we're still doing the survey? Was that Sat Dev? Mm -hmm. I, I, I answered that. So um, he's talking about the community survey that we started last uh, last quarter. So just an update on that. It is still on, but it is going to be closed this Wednesday. So we had to uh, make it a bit longer because we didn't get enough answers, but now we're pretty much on the right track. So we are going to close it this Wednesday. So Sadav, if you still want to fill it in, I would love to hear your input, just fill it in by Wednesday. And then at the end of the week, I will have like all the results, uh, all the results and share with you guys. I'm sorry, and I also, results when? By the end of the week. that on the contributor forum as an update. Hmm. Okay, great. And who's capturing notes right now? Uh, I'm doing some. Okay. Trying. Wonderful. Uh, and then I see another one here. So we've got a meeting here at 6 p.m. UK time. Uh, SatDab, is that one that you put together? Probably. So it was just like it was one tomorrow night, me and Rosanna next time, and my daughter. Okay, and could could you put together uh, like an agenda that you could link um, 
in this sheet so that people know before they get to the meeting uh, what the topic is and some agenda items. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. We'll do that. Just let us know, Bob. Um, so before we get to the Mars Curiosity landing, which which is awesome, um, let's talk about helpfulness graphs. So uh, we spent a lot of time last week um, talking about how we're going to or talking about proposals for the helpfulness graph so that we can get more accurate information. Um, so Kadir and I met last week and we talked that through. So Kadir, would you like to uh, give an update on some of the decisions that came from that meeting? Right. Um, so the very first decision is that we actually are leaving the KPI dashboard as it is. We are not going to touch that. Instead, we are going to add to the KB dashboard that displays the, uh, currently displays the ENUS only stats. We're going to add um, a graph to that that will show the helpfulness, but only for ENUS. Um, so it will be uh, keeping in, in the theme of, of that KB dashboard and show only ENUS data for that. We have another item of showing uh, localized uh, helpfulness data on the localization dashboards. And then we would also show a list of helpful or unhelpful um, loads, but only uh, if a certain threshold is uh, actually taken already, like not if it's below a certain threshold, unless we have um, data that we can work with. And we will probably um, have a higher priority for the ENUS one. That's one that we probably want to get in as soon as possible, whereas the localized ones uh, will probably uh, come later, as that is also data we are currently not providing. Um, okay. And quickly, just where do people who want to see this written out or you know, read that proposal exactly, where can they go? Uh, it's the either path is linked from um, is this uh, oh. from the notes here. If you yep. just follow the link, you will be able to see. Uh, that's not a public oh, ether that's path. That's not a public ether path. That's why I was trying to say where oh. can people go to see that. Sorry. Uh, I'm sure I will transfer that to a public ether path and uh, link that from here. Okay. Great. Okay. There's and, no reason and, for that to leave. And Kadir, in keeping with our newly defined processes from our work week, um, what are your next steps for this project? Well. Uh, first, it depends on uh, what we actually nail down, uh, but the actual, as, as far as I can tell today, the next step would be uh, to take this to the developers and to get uh, an estimate for how much this would cost. And at the same time, at, right after that, we would start to prioritize this based on the criteria that we have. And after that, we will have a, a value cost um, factor, and that will tell us uh, what the priority for this will be. So can you put that? Sorry, could you, can you put that at the very top of your Etherpad when you make a public one to say these are the things we're doing next? So it's clear what where the status of this project is too? Sure thing, I'll do that. Okay, that's, that's great. So uh, action item then for, for Kadir would be to um, try to get the cost estimate for us from the developers right. as soon as possible. And we all have action items to provide um, Kadir with feedback on his priori prioritization list so that um, we aren't the roadblocks in that process. Okay, uh, great, good stuff, Kadir. Um, so now, yeah, the, the Mars Curiosity landing. Uh, I don't know who added that, but that is... <laughs> Do you guys Michael stay did, Michael? up? It was yeah. late for me. It was early for you guys in Europe, but it was awesome. I thought that was... I didn't see it. I didn't. I think it's all fake. It's all fake. <laughs> they faked it. I know that, that uh, simulation, I, it was just, it was an animation. They could have, it could have been anything. Ibai, I'm with you. Uh, the sky crane stuff, that is science fiction. Like, that's even bad science fiction. Who would believe that? <laughs> it's totally impossible. I'm, I'm pretty sure that they contracted uh, James Cameron or something to, <laughs> to pretend it. Yeah. Oh, the U.S. is in Mars. Kind of like, oh, the U.S. But is the in U.S. has already been to Mars. Like, let's be fair, this is not our first yeah. Mars <laughs> rover. <laughs> this is like our third, fourth Mars landing. Yeah. Chang, you mean this is not the first video, not the first shooting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Let's let's start, uh, <laughs> let's start talking about the moon now. Was that still? Huh? All right. All right. If we have time left at the end of the meeting, we can talk conspiracy theories. But, uh, <laughs> to keep things moving, I think we should we should move along. Hey, uh, uh, so SatDev has on, a question or a comment in IRC about. Um, uh, they had an IRC, this was, I guess, the IRC meeting last week. I don't know if Madalena and Rosanna, were you guys there about um, surveying people about live chat, about what they like about live chat? Was this about how we can 
make forum support any more like live chat support or not or what was that about yeah that was the the discussion that we had last thursday um i have linked the chat to the to the either pad not this one but the one we had for the for the chat itself i can link it to this one as well no problem so basically the discussion was about what was so cool about live chat and how can we actually bring that to the forum because live chat is not likely to happen anymore um it was quite interesting um i will link like the whole because it's very long <laughs> it was like one hour and so uh so i link the whole thing there then we just do it now cool so basically we have discussed about some features that we can do sure. um this is not something that we can promise it will happen, but it's good to have the feedback and then we'll see how we're moving for, forward with this in the next, I don't know, quarters or so. So I'm not, I'm not seeing it. Where did you put that? No, she's getting the link to put it yet. I don't oh, okay. She's Great. pasted it yet. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's, it's there. Under this is great. And, and SatDab, did you cap, did you capture all of these notes? It's just a giant transcript, yeah. actually. Oh, this um, is a giant transcript. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to to the, be the more chat there. So Pardon? we need to actually dig. So I just put the chat transcript there. We just uh, I need to actually dig in and take like the whole like the small items or action items or whatever. Uh, but the discussion is like very long, so I mean, if you have time, you can go through it. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I think this um, in, in the future, if Sad Dab, if you're running these meetings, if you could capture those action items and then um, put them together in an email and, and send them to everybody on, on the team, I think that would be great so that we can see some of the, the good stuff that you guys are working on. I mean, we really appreciate you taking the initiative to do this and, um, you know, keeping us in informed and being able to keep up on all the stuff that you're working on would be fantastic. You know, we really appreciate that. All right, I'm going to make that an action item for that down. Does that sound good? I can't tell. Wait, you. Are you or still is here? something yeah, that or, Madalina or, uh, is going to do? Madalina, yeah. can we, okay. Madalina, you volunteered to, to do that? Yeah, can you put my name there? Okay, okay. great. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we, we really appreciate, you know, all the, all the amazing work. I mean, this is just fantastic. Um, okay, so moving along, um, Firefox desktop. Uh, so right now we've been tracking an issue with um, restored sessions. So something happens and you go to restore your session and um, it doesn't give you the option. So it, it just says, um, you know, start a new session and, and restore is completely blanked out and there's no um, even tabs listed. Um, if you refresh, if you hit refresh, your tabs will show up and you can ha you have the option to restore. Wow. Um, wow. Yeah, so, yeah, so so some people think it's data loss because it's not very intuitive to try to hit yes. the refresh button. Um, so people perceive it as data loss. Um, I've, been, I've been searching in a bunch of Sumo threads and Chang has been just hammering input and yeah. we're not finding any reports yep. of this, but because it's not very clear what's happening, that, that could be part of it as well. So um, product has asked us to look into that and see if we can find any um, evidence of disappearing anywhere else. Uh, Michael and then Tyler. Is this if you hit refresh, you get the uh, the restore previous session dialog page? The oops, yes, you, well, this is embarrassing no, you, page comes back up? You get the page, or my understanding of it is you get the page, but initially it, just, it only gives you the option to start new and the other one is grayed out. Oh. Right. But then if you hit refresh, then tabs show up and the button to actually restore your old tabs is available as well. Wow, At least that's my understanding that's of it. Yeah, so like, so you get, you get a blank, this is embarrassing page is what I'm hearing. Right, like that's my, my interpretation is this, it does say this is embarrassing and it says we can't recover and you get the whole, but it's blank, huh. like there's no tabs okay. there. If you refresh it, the tabs show up again. Um, and so my comment is that when we, I went through input and there was a giant spike of people complaining about restores and that restores not working on the 20th of whatever that month was, July. July. Um, but I know, I know, seriously. Um, but it's 
like it was like or the, the, the twenty the twenty second, and it was like a one day spike, and it's completely gone. Huh. So I'm wondering if this is just like it, if something happened to you on that day, you still might have this problem, but it should have gone away by now, and it might be a one day weird. I don't know something happened that one day, like an extension update or something. So that's kind of some hint that might help. It's just the twenty second. There was a huge spike of this, but otherwise there's nothing. Yeah, and, and it's it's hard. I mean, there's a lot of um, feedback around restore, but it's a very specific thing that we're trying to track right now, and, mm -hmm. and a very specific circumstances. So if you see anything, please let um, one of us know, either Chang or myself. Um, yeah. Chang, looks like you have a, a flash update. So I have a flash update. Uh, apparently, Adobe, and I don't even know when, which is kind of distressing, uh, pushed an update to Flash without telling us. Um, there was like no heads up, whatsoever. Um, so there's now, it is now 270, I think is the number. Um, and I'm trying to figure out, apparently they made some change to some installer, and it's unclear if they made other changes to other parts of the product. But now everyone else is getting updated to Flash again. It does not fix anything again. Oh, but, we know it doesn't so, fix anything. So Chang, well, is it more crashy, less crashy, about the same? I don't know. I don't know if we, because they didn't give us an advanced warning about this one at all, so I don't know if we've done any of our tests. Like, I'm looking through my email, it looks like Marsha's asking the same questions, like, how did, what happened with this one? Like, how did we not know about it? Um, so it might be that they didn't change anything they thought was relevant, and therefore didn't give us a heads up, or... Anyway, we don't have a heads up about this one. I'm going to email to mention the contributors. There is a new version out. Um, it's now 270. But it is complete. We don't know anything about it. Tyler, Cheng, is this the one? <clears throat> did this get pushed out last week? Yes. Sometime okay, last. I saw, I saw a couple threads on the forum of people reporting that they um, upgraded to this version of Flash, and it did not change anything. Um, yeah. Um, so it it is looking like it changed something with the installer, um, but it doesn't doesn't change the difference for anything for us so yeah I don't think I don't yeah I mean my guess is it doesn't change anything um, and I haven't seen anything related to the installer crash that it was supposed to fix either so <laughs> yeah I, I've heard something about it being something related to the installer and that's why they like give us any heads up but that might be us BSing to figure out to like I don't know anyway the point is they didn't give us heads up for a flash update they pushed um, so we haven't tested it at all that's okay all I've got. Chang if you could uh, post Post to that effect in the forums. I'd appreciate that. Yep. Just let everybody I will know that. what's going on. Thanks. Okay. Uh, any questions for Chang around Flash? Oh, okay. Moving on. Uh, metrics update. All right. Uh, two things. Uh, one of them is we are back to normal. Um, uh, uh, that could be because of summer. It could also be because people are not that affected by the Flash issue anymore, or they have moved on to other browsers, I don't know. Uh, but we are back to 500,000 users a day, uh, visitors a day, again, that's pretty much the same we had before. Um, when, then, so, but normally yes. we would have a drop here instead of being back to normal. So maybe it's still a combination of, it's the summertime drop combined with lots of visits about Flash, so now we're only at right. normal levels instead of below. Right. But the other option, of course, is that people are have given up on Flash and so they stop asking about it, right? Like, I mean, any for any issue, it always drops out over time, right? Yeah. Like any any one issue, it once it happens, it, people get used to it and it kind of falls off. Like we don't see any questions about the new awesome bar or right. But that, right? So, I'm it's probably yeah, um, so we could probably look at Michael overall visits to the Flash articles and find out if people are just you know no longer coming there seeking that information. I mean, they're still way up there, and I mean, there's still like five or six of them in the top twenty. It's like every Flash article is in the top twenty still. Right. But I haven't looked like week over week. Are they going down? I guess we could look at that. Okay, we can take a look at that. Okay, uh, you probably already have seen that the, uh, are we uh, down a, an action item for that, or do we move on? I mean, Chang, do you want to capture an action item on. for that? Sorry. He's eating. Okay, One more time. Here. 
I was just asking whether we want to have an action item for that, or I can move on to the next one. Um, do you want to do an investigation on this or not? I mean, I can. I can put I mean, it as an action item. I don't know quite what it's going to... I don't know what's going to be actionable about the about the information right now. Right. I, I don't know. It's yeah. I, I don't... Yeah. It would probably be... I mean, it would just be interesting in the right. sense of being interesting but I don't think we can it does it changes anything about our user I mean it's not a KPI anyway uh, the visitor data right it's just an uh, additional information okay uh, okay then moving on um, and, and I'm actually jumping around a bit this time but just uh, from from the most important to the least important uh, the l uh, coverage has dropped significantly but I guess we all heard about that already I think the, mo the, more the, the more important information here is that it's already picking up again uh, very quickly after um, uh, the, the uh, releasing of, of, I think, 200 or 300 new articles. So this is really encouraging. I would say, uh, so really good to see. for those who were not involved in the previous conversation, yeah. Kadir, can you state why we're seeing this drop? Oh, yes. Um, excuse me. Yes, of course. Um, so last week we made ready for, for localization about every single article in RKB. Um, it was at least updated with uh, summaries, new summaries that are shorter and will be shown on uh, Google in full before people visit uh, Sumo. And we also added uh, a template uh, below each article that makes it easier to link to it from social networks because it's already, sh already the short URL. So, that pretty much affected every single article, uh, which meant that the uh, L10N coverage dropped. Uh, no. So that, this is now the uh, L10N coverage picking up again, which is very encouraging because it's we've just made that change, uh, I think, a few days ago. Yeah, Tuesday. So, yeah. This room. so this is really encouraging. Um, there is one anomaly, so maybe some uh, information about that I particularly interesting but I just wanted to see what if people knew anything about it it's the helpful votes in the um, uh, for, for forum threads for some reason yesterday uh, they just dropped to 18% uh, and they are up again uh, sorry this is not yesterday uh, the, yes it is yesterday uh, so and, and they picked up again and I don't know I have no idea why uh, so if anyone has an explanation that would be nice uh, yeah I don't have an explanation but actually, now that you mention it, you can see that there's there's like uh, three other downward spikes like that, where it's like way way lower than the day before or after. Yeah, that's really strange. Uh, yeah, so I thought the the one in June was because of the flash issue. Uh, it, it's right a few days mm. after the flash update. Um, but the current one is a total mystery to me. Uh, yeah. No idea what that is about. Maybe we should look at exactly what kind of threads were there at that yeah, time. I, I would, so I would actually look at that. I just wanted to see if anyone knew anything. Otherwise, I'm going to go in there and see what's hap what happened on that day and which articles were voted down. Maybe it's a, it's a concentration on, on one Form threads. article. Yeah, so those aren't article votes. Those are oh, sorry, threads. excuse me, forum yeah. threads. Yes, forum threads. Okay, so we have so an action item just a... for, for Kadir to investigate that. And Kadir, do you need any additional resources? It sounds like Madalena um, would be interested in helping you, and, and maybe Tyler, I'm going to nominate you as well. If Kadir needs some help. Okay. No, if, if you need help, Kadir, I'll uh, jump in. The more, you. the better. <laughs> the more, the merrier. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that's all on um, the metrics. Okay, great. Uh, community updates. Madalena, Rosanna, what do you have for us? Um, so I, I put a, a couple of things on the on the on the list regarding um, localization. First, I just wanted to thank very much uh, all the communities and the locales that have reached again a hundred percent. I don't want to be unfair and only name a couple of them, but you know, like uh, th there are many locales that have worked a lot, you know, very hard to get all the updates. So really, thank you very much because we know how much, how many of them 
they were. Um, and, you know, like once again, apologies for those of you who got 300 notifications on your inbox. We're thinking about ways of making this better. Um, and thank you very much for working on that. So um, this is actually the second bullet point. Um, so I'm going to jump directly to that. If you are having trouble uh, figuring out what is the most important thing to translate right now, Michael did a great job uh, making a list with all the things, you know, like uh, the top priorities. Um, I just linked it from here. It's on the Elton N forum. So um, if you don't really know how to how to get started or, or you know what it's more important, you just you can, you can go there and start localizing those articles because uh, uh, it, it is our opinion that those are the most important ones. So that's the one thing. Um, there's another thing. Um, I, 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 I published last week a blog um, article um, and I, I announced that we're actually having some development resources to work on the uh, localization tools. Uh, so I'm gathering feedback. I just put a link there to our project. Uh, basically, we, we have three different ether paths uh, where we hope to get your um, um, your feedback. I know that a couple of people, you know, maybe etherpads aren't so good or not, you can go there and just check what other localizers have written and just plus one things that you think that are good ideas. We have the bugs that have been already created. We have the pain points, so you know, if there's something that's special and very hard to do. On Sumo, please go there and tell us, let us know. You don't have to have the solution for that, but just tell me, like, I really, really, really have trouble doing this. Or this costs me a lot of time and, and, and it's not a good thing. So that would be your pain points. If you have any ideas like, oh, I would like to have rainbows whenever I finish an article, you know, that kind of things, <laughs> um, you can tell us. Uh, I mean, not exactly that, but, you know, whatever you think that uh, can actually make a, a difference and that will make your life easier, please tell us. Uh, we'll be collecting feedback uh, this week and then afterwards we're going to try to figure out what can be done, what can't be done and, and try to make a priority. Uh, we will try to make this present process as transparent as possible and, and get also your opinion on how, you know, what we implement first. Uh, but so please let us know what you think and uh, we're really looking to make these changes very, uh, you know, user driven uh, because we know that you're using these tools and, and that's the idea to make changes so that they work good for you. Yeah, I just wanted to say what we already discussed about it. So for anybody who did not get to uh, fill in the community survey and wants to do it, can you please do it these uh, days because it will be closed on Wednesday. So we would really, really appreciate all the feedback that you can give us. And I include, uh, I put there the link in case you don't have it. Okay, great. Okay. Um, any questions for uh, community? All right, moving on. Michael, uh, knowledge base. Uh, I mean, we talked about this stuff where you can read the thing. The one thing I, I wanted to kind of note, um, well, two things, sorry. Uh, uh, I updated, we updated the that uh, Flash 11.3 uh, video doesn't display or is gray or whatever in Firefox. Um, because Real Player uh, put out an update uh, this last week that looks like fixes the issue, so that greatly simplifies that article. It's for most people. It's you have Real Player installed and just update Real Player, um, so that helps. So people, if you're answering questions in the forum, know that that's a change. Um, the other thing that's a change. So there was a lot of Firefox 15 updates that centered around. Um, so this will be going. It, into Firefox 15 when it comes out in a couple of weeks, but but um, a lot of these articles are changed uh, for Firefox uh, even back to 13, uh, and I'm rambling, but um, the thing is, we in 15 changed the safe, we're changing the safe mode dialogue. Um, so um, a lot of those options to reset individual things like just reset toolbars or just reset user preferences are no longer an option in safe mode in Firefox 15. Um, so you basically, it says go into safe mode or do the reset thing. Um, so it had me look at a lot of our troubleshooting articles where we recommend these like, do change this one thing. Um, and so now I've, there's a number of them like, um, you know, basic trouble, the basic troubleshooting, solve problems uh, with these troubleshooting steps article, uh, where we're able to simplify it now that we have the reset thing, which is 
try these things like, you know, updating Firefox, updating your OS, checking your plugins. Um, you know, if that stuff doesn't work, instead of separate steps like, um, you know, uh, try resetting your preferences. If that doesn't work, try creating a new profile and migrating stuff over. We can combine all that into one step, which is just hit the reset Firefox thing and it does it all for you. So as we go through this, like, yay, these long troubleshooting processes are getting smaller, which is nice. Um, and Madalena says, we can ask me to add that to the video. What, what are we talking about what I'm just saying or something else? No, 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 uh, Sata was asking me if we can add uh, the update about the survey to the news and resources, and I said that maybe we can ask okay. you to basically put it there. Okay. Thanks. Anyway, I just, uh, yep, yeah, so that was it. Yeah, Michael, I, I looked at a lot of the, the stuff you've been working on, simplifying those articles, and man, it, it looks great. Um, you know, awesome stuff. Uh, appreciate all the extra help. I know you were a busy, busy guy last week, so, uh, you know. Thank, thanks yeah. for sticking with it. Uh, any questions for Michael? I think we should all probably take some time and look at the, uh, the, the changes for 15 just to familiarize ourselves with them. So there will probably be some questions, um, you know, coming in about that. So it would make sense just to familiarize with all of the, the changes that have been made to uh, the, like the reset feature or uh, sorry, safe mode. So um, moving on mobile. Michelle, do you got something for us? Nothing new, uh, just same as last week. The updates that we need to make for 15 are in the needs changes list. Okay, great. Uh, we can all take a look at that. Um, Ebuy, Firefox OS, what do you got for us? Uh, nothing to report on Firefox OS yet. Um, yeah, basically that's, that's what I got. Okay, good. Short and sweet. I like it. Um, I think that's everything. And so 1036, you know, 36 minute meeting, not too bad. Do uh, we have any other round table items? Any uh, last minute audibles people want to call? Oh, I have the Firefox OS update actually. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. So the, um, there was a work week for apps last week and the marketplace is focused um, primarily on Firefox OS. Um, and the milestone four was completed. Um, I mean, we heard from the project lead for Firefox OS and the definition of milestone four was 80% complete for apps. So, um, obviously not everything is done, um, but they did feel like they met that goal. So we're heading towards milestone five for, our, for all the apps. And we'll be starting to work out content um, and a KB structure for that soon. Cool. Good stuff. Any questions for Michelle around that? Anybody? Anything on IRC? I don't think so. Okay. That's it then. Good meeting, guys. 38 minutes. Awesome. Not bad. I think that's... Oh, Michael? Nothing. I was just saying awesome. Yay. That's a good job, yes. Everybody give a round of applause. Yay. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you, I, Matt. Matt, yeah. thank you for, for leading this. This has been uh, really great. So Yeah, no, no problem. And, and in fact, I, I failed to mention that earlier. David is, is out for the week, so I am uh, doing my best to fill his, his rather large <laughs> shoes uh, to run these meetings. So, uh, yeah, any, any tips or, great or job. Anything, anything for me, any advice um, to keep these things running more smoothly, just let me know. Um, everybody have a great week, and I will send out the action items after the meeting. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks. Bye.